Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a few minutes to spend with you quickly because um, then it's off to work. Okay, so um, yesterday at work I went out to have a chat with the guy that works with me and um, I'm looking at the trees and uh, so as you know this time of the year all of the trees were dead and um, there's just sticks standing out all, all around. Um, so it, it looks nice but it's not the way it should be right um so now the leaves are getting new uh the the trees are getting new leaves and it's it's very green and it's 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 beautiful it's it's really th something to have a look at and um and it's exciting because it's 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 always different than the previous year because every year it gets me um because i'll you see it every year it's something that you always see, but you never take the time to really look at it, okay? So every time I have, I have a look at the new leaves, it always gives me inspiration and it makes me feel, um, yeah, we're actually so privileged. God actually gave us something to look at every single day and he didn't make it just black and white you just made everything so perfect and so awesome always something new to have a look at but anyway okay so that gave me a thought of renewing my life okay so first of all um you go through phases you go through seasons okay so what this made me think of was every year you go through something and you go up and down, up and down. Sometimes you lose some leaves, sometimes you gain some leaves. And at the end of the time, you have to decide where you want to be with your life. You can't go on and on and on the same way every day, every year, every... Um, it's, it's, it's always going to be... Uh, American round seesaw up and down. All right. So, okay. So when I went on to Google, I typed in um, starting a new life. Just randomly just to see what it says to me. Okay. So I found this link. I'll put it at the bottom so you can go and have a look at it and see what they say and so on. So the link is how to start a new life without sacrificing everything you have. Okay. So, they gave us some few, some um, awesome things to have a look at, and something that I agree with. But there's in that sentence, there's just I don't understand how you can start a new life without sacrificing the old. Okay, so obviously you're gonna have to sacrifice some of your old old ways but you don't have to sacrifice everything so as in you don't have to sacrifice for sell your house and sell your car and um leave your partner and um all of that and go somewhere else and go start a new life sometimes we feel like that but it's not the way you have to go all right so they give us 12 steps all right so the first step always learn something new and that's that's something that we all can um, benefit from because if you have a look at it if there's only one thing a day that you can learn that's new that you didn't know at the end of the the week there's seven things that seven things that you have learned that you didn't even know in how many years ever you are old okay and we're not um, all grown-ups and we know everything there's always something we can learn even if it's a stupid thing it doesn't matter just learn something just make a point of um, taking the time to learn one thing a day okay so that's something I'll agree on okay take steps to face your fears awesome awesome first of all if you fear something it always comes comes your path okay so Instead of fear, uh, living your life with fear, okay, and um, 
saying, no, I won't do that because um, I'm not ready for that or um, I I'm afraid of this or I'm afraid of that or etc, etc, okay? Take some steps to face your fears, okay? So do it slowly. Do it in your own time. Just make sure that you take time to face your fears. That's it. Just even if it's one small thing, take it step by step, day by day. Okay. Number three, maintain a meaningful social circle. All right. So if you have a circle full of friends, so say for instance, you've got 33 friends and you need something, uh, someone needs to pray for you for something. And there's nobody in the group that can pray for you because it's not what they do. Or, our, or something else, you need something like petrol uh, because you're stuck against, uh, next to the road. Or I don't even know what example to use. But if you have a friend, friendship circle, make sure that your friendship circle is people that can build you up instead of put you down. It's people that when they make jokes, they don't make jokes to break you down. It's they make jokes to build you up or just to be funny, but not something that can hurt you or something that you laugh about, but actually inside it, it's hurting you. Um, or a lot of the boys always, um, I know by experience, a lot of boys, what they do is they'll talk to each other um, by swearing at each other and calling each other, you are you stupid. How can you say that? What, what? They don't mean it. They don't mean that the person is actually stupid. But the fact that they're saying it, it first of all, it hurts the person inside. And even if they don't say anything, they, it hurts. Okay? And then, secondly, you, you, you're saying things that it's not building up anyone. It's, it's, it's just breaking everything down of whoever you're saying it to or from. So get a social circle that's meaningful to your life. I can agree on that. Number four, find healthy ways to cope with anxiety. That's good, but I think you should go and read his opinion on that, not mine. Become part of a movement is number six, uh, number five. Number six, take ownership. That's also true. Uh, that's got a lot of meaning. Um, but something that I'll mention on that point is that when you do something wrong or you've hurt someone or you've um, gossiped about someone behind their back or anything like that, take ownership and deal with it as in, Go to that person and tell her, listen, I said this and this and this. Or even, you don't even have to tell her what you said. You just said, I spoke bad about you and I'm sorry. And if you don't want to say sorry, just take ownership enough so that you can benefit from it. So just tell her, yes, I did. It was me. Don't. Don't go and talk to to um, 10 people about someone and then when you get confronted, oh, no, it wasn't me. Or oh, I didn't mean it that way. Or oh, 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 oh. you did mean it that way. You did, you did talk about that person. Whatever you said, you meant it. It came out of your mouth. So obviously it came out of your heart. Okay, so take ownership, deal with it, sort it out, and eventually get to a point that, so that you can say sorry and apologize for it and not just, the words actually mean it because when someone apologizes to you and they don't mean it it means nothing anyway number seven pay attention to your dreams and that's something a lot of us actually forget as you grow up as i grew grew up i had millions of dreams um i wanted to become a, f a photographer i wanted to become a Psychiatrist. I wanted to become oh so many so many things. The thing is, you've got all of these dreams, and you've uh, as you grow up, you just stop dreaming. 
because you think you too old or you're you're already in another stage of your life um or if if you want to travel the world uh, that's one of the things i would like to do and as you grow up i'm almost 30 now and i've got a child and i'm not even married so obviously whatever i do i have to take my child with I can't um just do everything alone with him and i can't leave him with someone that's just not parenting good parenting or whatever um so i can't just go away for a month um what about my child's needs and um stuff like that you know so eventually you get to a point that's uh that's not going to happen and you just write it off why rather make choices and take your dreams and see how you can still fit it in or how you can change it a bit so that you can still get what you wanted just in another way because if i have to travel the world now with my boy it would be it would mean so much more to me now than if i had to travel the whole world alone and what who am i going to explain anything i'm going to show photos to everyone oh that's nice that's it but when i have to travel the world with my boy we're going to have memories and we're going to have photos together and it's just going to be so much better with him okay so that's a dream that i wanted to give up on and now i don't have to because i can still fit it into my life somewhere somehow um number seven pay attention to your dreams okay so that's the one that we did just now number eight unplug to tap into creativity that's also something awesome but i'm not going to go into that now challenge challenge comfort zones yeah because when you get in a comfort zone you it's it's very difficult to get out of it seriously um like myself i'm taking this myself as an example because i don't know who else goes through, through the same thing that i do okay so um when you're at work and you get in this comfort zone you just this is my work this is what i'm going to do for the rest of my life this is everything and i'm chilled with chilled about it i like my job and i like my hours and i like this and i like that and whatever whatever so then you then you just they but as soon as you one of my things that i've realized as soon as i get in a comfort zone the lord moves me to another place so don't go into a comfort zone because if you don't want to lose whatever you your position is now don't go into a comfort zone it's just my opinion number 10 practice daily mindfulness yes number 11 access your budget Oof. yeah but i'm not going to go into that now I need to work on that one. And number 12, manifest goodness. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to put the link on below. You can go and have a look what the, whoever the guy is that wrote all of this. Um, he obviously has more um, experience, more knowledge, and all of that in this situation. I just thought it's quite cool um, to go through it with you guys and um yeah i'm gonna put some photos on about the trees that i spoke to earlier the trees in front of my work and yeah you should have a lovely day and enjoy it